What's up, YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys part 27 for my playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, guys, follow me on Twitch at Jeans25. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my live streams. So, guys, in this episode, we traveled to the entrance of Von Naboris, the third divine beast we're going to be doing. And we're going to be starting this and completing it. So, first off, we want to come up here. And, you know, you got this guardian right here. You got to say, what's up, dude? Give him the old clappings real quick. Yee. So, get out of my face. And then you can just move on. We're going to wait, pick up his screws and all that. But, first order of business, we have to find the, what is it, the main control unit? Or, like, yeah, like the main part, we got to go unlock it. We're going to shoot this side, get rid of all this muck and all that. But... The main guidance stone is just this way. It's just right up these little steps right there and right over there. So we're just going to make our way that way to unlock the map and then unlock the... What is it? It's like the secret ability that the Divine Beast has. Like, as you remember, an elephant shot water out and you have to control him and all that. And what the lizard do? What did the lizard do? I think he flipped on his side. That's what it was. But this one actually gets like three cylinders inside of it, the camel. And you can actually rotate them to like control it. Well, here we go. We get the map and we get to steal it into our Sheikah Slate. And then we have to find the five other guidance stones. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Nice big old camel. So as you can see, the five little dots, that's what we have to get. And then take it back to the main control unit like any other divine beast. And then we can fight the boss. The so first order of business is we just want to hop over here. And make it right up these steps and everything, because where is it? Let's see if we can see it or anything. Right in there is one of the terminals that we want to get. So in order to, the, to do that, we actually have to like, make our way this way. We got this guardian. Say what's up again. Give him the old clappings. Ooh. Oh, I thought we knocked him off the edge. I thought we were, he was going off the edge, guys. But we can actually make our way into this door over here. And then look through this hole. And then take out our map and go to the one that we're on. And flip it twice. or No, three times we flip it. And as you can see, it's going to rotate around, opening up that terminal for us. But once we see it, we're going to want to hop inside of it. Because it's going to be turning as we are standing here. So see how it does that. Then we can walk inside of it. You know, just look around all that. Wait for this to actually stop. And go over here and get our first terminal for Bad Naboris. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. I'm ready for this, guys. I'm ready to get that power up. This electric power up is like the best power up out of all the Divine Beasts. Like, I'm so excited for this. So after this, we're just going to want to turn it back, you know, get us out of here. So we're just going to hit it twice. And then we'll be free. We'll be free. Let me out. Will we be free? Actually, I don't know. We might not. We might do it one more time. Yeah, we got to do it one more time. Let's flip it again. And then that will let us out of here. Come on, let me out. There we go. But it lets us out the other side. So now we make our way over here and we can actually start looking for the other terminals. So the next part we want to do is we actually want to hop down. I was just up there. We hop down here. You actually want to make your way to this little cylinder right here. Right near this wall back here. It's like the furthest one. And you just want to start flipping this bad boy. No, not that one. Wrong one. I hit the wrong one. But it's all good. We want to start flipping this one. So I'm going to put it on three times. Because there's actually a terminal at the top of this. So I'm just going to keep flipping it. And flipping it. And flipping it. Until we can actually flip it on its right side. So we can actually get back up there and grab ourselves a terminal. I'm going to actually hit the glider right here. And land right here. Do I want to get back on the other side? Let's see. Where is the terminal actually at? Why am I just chilling here? We have to get down from here. Here we go. This is where I want to be. I believe the terminal is... Where is the terminal at? I'm not sure, but I know there's one up here because I saw it just a little bit ago. There it is. It's right there. Right above us. So we got to flip it just one more time. And we can actually get ourselves this terminal now, which would be the second one out of five. So you just keep flipping it until you see it, and then you can go grab it. And of course, we missed it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're trying this again. Second time's the charm. Running yeet. There we go. Finally, we learned how to jump after the third divine beast. <laughs> but we can get ourselves our second terminal and keep moving along with this divine beast. All right, guys. Let's keep moving along. I'm actually going to come down here and shoot this eye out real quick. Get rid of all that goop. And then we got this chump. What you want, fool? Look at him. He's not even coming close to me. Yeah. What you want? Are you... What? Why don't we fall down here just by swinging? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. In order to get the third terminal, we're actually going to want to make our way back to this main control unit. Head outside, either or. It doesn't matter what side right now. I'm going to head over to the right side from the main control unit. We actually want to go to 
want to go to our map and flip all these see these little like blue or the green and the orange lines you want to flip them all to the top so just like that so get all those lines up to the top that is electric bars so we're actually gonna, just gonna have to wait for them to get the electric bars up top because we're gonna have to use the electric to like move things and everything connect electricity to power up some things in order to get different terminals so now that we have all these at the top what we want to do now is actually i'm just gonna glide over here I actually want to get on this path, I believe, right over here. Is it this one? I believe it's this one. But what we want to do is actually start spinning this one in the back. Just I'm just going to spin all the way around. Because want, you want to start riding these pieces up. So, like, hop on like something like this right here. Actually, not that one because you'll fall through the hole. But, like, yeah, actually hop on like this one. You want to ride this to the top right here. This little pathway right here. Which we can actually hop off right here and get on here. And now we can make our way all the way over towards this way. And right here, we got all these magnets and all that. And now, do I have to line this up right? I believe I do. So, we're actually just going to flip this back and bring that line back to the top here. So, it should look like this. You should see all those green lines just line up perfectly. So, there we go. Now, we have a nice little electric field there. So, now that we make our way out here, we actually have to line these little magnet things up perfectly. So, we're actually going to bring this here. And by perfectly, I mean just, like, enough to, like, conduct all the electricity towards one another. So, I'm just going to have to bring this one back here I believe this one goes here and the top one goes here we gotta get electricity from here first but how do we get that hold the phone I think if we just keep conduct if we conduct it all oh no I got it, I got it this one goes here because we have to get that electricity from that side that one goes here oh no this one goes here so how it goes yeah see that those line up and then this comes or does this stay here? Hold the phone, people. Hold the phone. We gotta figure this out. We gotta figure this out. Or well, this one comes all the way to the front here. There we go. Conducts that electricity there. There we go. Now we move this one all the way back here. And then move this one also back. And this should actually control the little camel top now. And this could actually start flipping back and forth now. So that's good. We're gonna actually have to use this to get to the top of the camel. So what we're gonna do right now is just go like this. Close it up real quick. We just line it up so it makes everything easier for us. But now we're actually going to have to start here. Grab our magnesis out. Pull that back. Yeet that that way. And get running this way. Come on. Get up there, Link. I don't think we're making it. I don't think we're making it. So yeet that way. Maybe we can grab it from farther back with the magnesis. Make Maybe that will make it easier. How far can we grab this? No, like right here. So we're just going to want to go yeet. Pull that and then get running. Get up there, Link. And once you get running, you want to get up here, right here. Perfect. That's how we do it. We can actually start shooting out these eyeballs and all that. But we have to wait for this thing to open up. We can actually swing a sword at it, but we're going to take some damage. Get out of my face, dude. What you want? Yeah, standing in that muck isn't really a good idea. I don't know why I was doing it. You start to take a ton of damage. But now what we want to do is take out this one. Bang. Actually hop down here, grab our magnesis out. And there's going to be a metal ball just chilling right here. So we're actually, we're actually gonna have to grab this metal ball as we are like trying to get up here. So we're gonna yeet on that, pull that in. Yes, we got it. All right, now that we pull that in, we can actually use this metal ball. Just leave it here like that, and it'll actually start controlling this pathway right here. So the main like point of this whole divine beast right here is like electricity. Like hence the reason why he shoots off electricity. Like everything revolves around electricity for him for some reason. I don't know, but that's kind of what we gotta do. But now that we can make it to this side, we can shoot this eye out. And grab ourselves the third terminal here, which is right here. This was like the toughest one, I think, in the in the camel. So we can get this one done and move on to the last two. So from this terminal, we're going to have to... What is he doing? We actually have to head down here. And before I even do anything, I'm going to give this dude a whoopings. He's shooting bullets out everywhere. Like, get out of my face. But we're going to drop down here right now. And what, what did I have to grab? Where's that? I'm looking for it. There's another metal ball. It should just be located. Just chilling around here. I believe it's up here, actually. So we have to wait for this path again. Yay! <laughs> so in the meantime, we're just going to get dancing. No, <laughs> I have no idea, but we're good. We just have to wait for this path to come all the way down. It's kind of annoying that we got to wait for it, but it's all good. We're chilling. I actually need more shields. This is like my last shield. So if this one breaks during the final boss fight, we won't have another shield. Oh, we actually haven't picked up all these ancient screws and ancient gears. But we got to find this other metal ball. It's like a metal electric ball. Where you at, boy? There's there's one of them. One of them's across there. We need two of them. 
Oh, it's up here. This is where it's at. Okay, so now that we make our way over here, we can actually grab this electric ball right here. No, no! Come here! Come here! No! Okay, we can grab it through that and bring it to ourselves. Oh my god. I was not waiting again. I just wasn't waiting again. <laughs> but now we can actually take this electric ball and drop it. Psych. <laughs> Pick it up and put it on this little thing that needs electric to open the door. And now that we have opened the door... Wait a minute. Whoa! What you fools want? Trying to come after me. Get out of here, boy. You're done. Get out of my face. Give me all your ancient screws. But now we can grab this metal electric ball and just leave it on here. As you can see, there's a terminal right inside there, but we need two electric balls to get it. So now we can head over to this side and grab the first one that we used to open the door earlier and bring it back down here and put it into the thing. So waiting for this. We can hop right here. No! Come on, dude. Don't miss it. Don't miss it! Get up there! Yes! If I would have missed it, I would have ended the video. It would have been over. <laughs> My day would have been ruined. But we can actually grab this ball now that we used to make that path go. I'm going to bring it closer to us. And now we're just going to drop down here. Grab this ball once again. Drop it down here. Say Yeetski. Grab it. Where is that? Where do we got to place it? Right here. Right here, baby. Right there. Did he fall off? What the heck, man? <laughs> Trying my hardest out here. Don't you fall off. There you go. And now it opens up this door and we can grab ourselves our fourth terminal. The last terminal is actually probably my favorite terminal. I don't know if it's if it's my favorite, but which side do we have to go? We have to actually make our way to this side. It's actually just like a cool little puzzle you gotta do it, and everything just makes it look cool. But we actually have to take out that goop right here and start making our way outside this way here and drop down here. And as you can see, we already got electric here. And in order to get the electric here, you have to have these little things on the top row. But see these little torches? We actually have to light these little torches. There's one on each side. And if you turn it left, or or clockwise, I should say, it'll move the one on the left over. So we're just going to keep moving this one until the torch lands on it. So we're going to stop like right there. And bang, it's going to land there. Now if we turn it counterclockwise, this other side is going to move without moving that side. So once you line up both these torches, the electric is actually going to power through. Are we close, actually? Hold up. Once we see it, you kind of just stop. So once you see it, you just stop. And now the electric will power it up, and the camel's head will come up this way, dropping a little platform for us, which is perfect, bringing us up to the fifth and final terminal. So, you, we, so now we can just, like, walk up here, do a little dance again. You know us. We just grooving along. Take this little path here. And it's good. We actually have Mephis Grace and two of Daruk's protections for the final boss fight for this Divine Beast. But now we can make our way up here and grab the fifth and final terminal for the third Divine Beast. We're actually going to have to flip all these cylinders back to line up the green lines on the bottom. So we're just going to do that. Just like that. We're going to flip it this way so the main control unit is facing upwards. So we're just going to fall around a little bit. But there we go. Perfectly. We can land here and wait for this to stop spinning. And now we can actually take a walk right to the main control unit and send out the third Divine Beast boss, which is Thunder Blight Ganon. Dude, I love this cutscene so much. Whew. Gets me every time we do a Divine Beast. It just looks so cool. This looks awesome. Yee, yeah, baby. Look at him. This, this guy is actually cool. I think he's the hardest one, in my opinion. He's not too hard, but I think he's the hardest one. Look at the boy, it's Thunder Blade Ganon! He's actually like the smallest one out of all of them, and he kind of looks like a pirate. But the tough part is he's very quick. Let's go. Here we go. Fighting Thunder Blight Ganon. Look how quick he is. See, he just took a nice shot at me right off the bat. But luckily, we had the Rook's protection. And, of course, my shield broke. But look at this. Our Master Sword is glowing. Considering we are versing a Guardian-type enemy. So, it deals 60 per swing. So, we're actually just going to start tanking him up here. Get out of here, boy. Break his shield and start ripping on him. Look how much damage we do. Ooh. -hoo. Ooh. We do so much damage. Where'd our boy go? Where's our boy at? There he is. He's down there. Gonna throw electric at us. We're just gonna run and dodge all that. I'm gonna shoot a bow at him, actually. Oh, he's coming in quick. Block it with a Daruk's protection and get slamming on him. Look at him. Put, his, put him on the ground. We slammed him up. What's up, dog? What you want? Oh, he's going quick again. Bring out our bow. We're gonna try to get a few shots on him. 
Oh, no, he's coming in quick. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. This is why he's the hardest one. See how quick he is? Look at that. There we go. Break that shield and start getting ripping on him. And we take him down to half health. So he's going to change phases now. But like I said, none of these boss fights are too hard. This, I, this is, I just consider it the hardest one. Considering he is quick. And he does like quick move. But look at this. He gets thunder from the sky for his next phase. Where'd he go now? He's up there. So we got to watch out for him. We're going to actually start... I don't think we can make our way up here. But look at this. He starts letting go electric things, electric pillars from the sky to shoot electric through them. From these pillars, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, guys, while he's doing his second phase, he's going to shoot down all these pillars like you have been seeing. And we actually want to bring out our magnesis, which is good. So what's he doing? Here we go. So once he shoots down a pillar, you want to grab one with your magnesis, pull it out the ground, Start putting near him, and it will shock him and put him to the ground. Just like that. We get down there and be like, what's up, dog? Start giving him whoopings. But he's doing quick movements again. And he hit us and triggered our Mephis Grace, which is fine. Oh, my God, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's so annoying. Yeah, I'm fine. He's just, this dude's just quick. But there we go. Break his shield. Start giving him whoopings. Come on, he's almost dead. Get over here. Let's finish him off. Come on, die. Oh, my God. He's like one hit away. He's like one hit away. He's throwing these electric balls at us. We're good. We're chilling. Oh, he dropped. He made us drop our night spell. Oh my god. Here he goes. Yeet. Let's bring out a shield. No! I want to try to parry the shot. Oh my god. We are down to two hearts. We gotta eat something. We gotta eat something. Give me my meals. Give me my meals. What we got? Oh, we got a defense boost meal. We're gonna eat that up. Now we got a nice defense up for a couple more seconds. But now we can start beating him up. There we go. And we finish him off and defeat our third divine beast. Let's get it. Yeah, dude. Take that. Like I was saying, as you can tell, he was like the tougher one. Because he's just so quick. And like you can't really like dodge his attacks. He just slams you up real quick. Oh. And look at that. It's like all of his guts and everything. He just poof. See you later, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes we have now restored peace back to the gerudo land and to the divine beast let's get it the good thing is we actually get out get another heart container yeah there it is let's go but we don't need heart containers i need more stamina vessels now that's what we're focusing on now which is awesome but yeah, luckily we did get the Master Sword for that fight. That helped us out so much. Because each hit did so much damage. But look at that heart container. Give me that. Give me that. Let's get it. Let's go. Now we can actually end this thing and examine the main control unit. And get Urbosa's Fury. Let's get it. Yes, we want to activate it. And we got this cool little cutscene coming up. The champion. Well, the ghost of the champion. <laughs> Turbosa. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free. And Noboros is ours once again. Which means that finally, we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. As well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. Please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. Yes! It will no doubt be of use to you. Oh yeah, I cannot wait to use this guy to show it off. You can just take down like hordes of enemies with it. It is awesome. <laughs> Bang! We can snap and just send lightning now. Let's go. Both you and the princess. I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. 
So please, make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know. I couldn't be more proud of her. You take good care of the princess. Oh, and also, take good care of Hyde. Look at us, we travel in light form back to the Grudo City and we obtain Benene or Bosa's Fury, which is a destructive power born from the unbridled anger of the champion Urbosa. Summons powerful lightning to the surrounding area triggered with a charge attack by holding Y. Yes, I cannot wait to show you guys that, but we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So if you guys did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.